Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back from Shane. Malachi. Matt. We're back with a new show. I'm really excited. Batman the Caped Crusader. Guys, this is a new show. This is season one, episode one. If you've been following this channel for a bit, me and Matt are going through Batman, the animated series, the original. Now, we did take a little bit of a hiatus. We're going to continue that. Uh, but we are going to do this show first, and I'm really excited to do it because just the people involved, J.J. Abrams in it, uh, also Bruce Timm's in it. Shane! Yeah. Isn't he the guy from Batman the Animated Series? He is, Matt. He is. Oh boy, I'm excited. <laughs> Original showrunner of that show, I'm pretty sure. Also one of the writers. He's running this show, and uh, I don't know if I said J.J. Abrams, but I said Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves did The Batman, which is a recent Batman movie, which I still haven't seen, but I need to watch. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, real quick before we start, just let you guys know, we do have Patreon, we have full-length uncut reactions, and we also have early access. But because this is a show that just dropped all once, I'm not sure how far ahead. We usually do four weeks. This will be between one and two weeks. Who's, but, go ahead. who's your, your Batman? Who's my Batman? Um, I mean, I'm going to have to go with my favorite Batman movies, which are some of my favorite movies ever. It's the Nolan trilogy. Okay. Shane, I thought you said the Val Kilmore was your favorite Batman. Val Kilmore? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I, I haven't actually seen the originals. Uh, or or since, was it George Clooney? I can't remember. It's one of those two. I mean, I, I know he's notorious for the nipples on his suit. Ooh, um, that's my favorite. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I don't remember anything about those movies. I, I might have seen them once. I, I couldn't tell you a thing about it. Yeah, my favorite is Christian Bale. But, yeah, um, Christian Bale is by far the best Batman. I mean, it, I think his movies are the best, but I will say this. Batflick, uh, Ben Affleck was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love the Snyderverse. I think so many things happen during the production of those movies that mess those up, uh, including messing up Henry Cavill's career. I think Robert Pattinson, after his movies are done, because they're more modern, I might like he might be my favorite Batman. Because he was so good. <clears throat> so I've seen, I, I funny, I watched a video review of that not too long ago that came out. Um, I, I heard he was fantastic. I, you I kinda, watch it? No, I didn't watch it because I'm kind of waiting for us to do it on the channel. I'll and, watch it again. I and love it. Uh, if, we, we, if we don't react to it before the Penguin Show comes out, then you know I'm just going to mm -hmm. watch it. All right, guys, remember, if you want to support us, check us out on Patreon and stick around after the reaction to see our review. Let's jump in. Someone in our outfit's been sharing secrets with Rupert Thorne. Come on, Iggy, you and me, we go way back. Y you know, I'd never do that. Sure, Clarence. But the boss would like to have a word with you anyway. No, oh, Iggy. I don't know who told you I wasn't on the level. Penguin. Oh, look at that nose. Find a big rush. Mr. Thorne says it looks like we're going to get hit tonight, and the swag's too valuable to leave behind. What, the cops? But it ain't the cops I'm worried about. I'm still definitely getting Batman animated series vibes off of this, though. Yeah, me too. It feels like it's it's like well, a... It's animated. Yeah. Well, then he's got a screw loose, because there ain't no freaking... Hey, what? Shut up! Someone's here with us. The animation, for sure. That's always smart, just aimlessly shoot in random directions. So this is just another iteration of Batman in another universe. Mm. Or just Batman animated series Batman. <laughs> I like the vibe, man. Now Batman needs to run him down. <laughs> Walked right into it. Man, I do not like those gloves. Yeah, you know they're those are those are not Batman gloves that I like. Yeah, but when he punched them, I noticed they were like they just looked like freaking like like fucking, gardening gloves. Yeah, that's what I thought too. The police ruled the first explosion a gas leak. The second, an Alfred, what happened? Electrical fire. Someone's declared war on Thorn, but they're covering their tracks. Being smart. You're saying, is that Alfred? Yep. What happened, Alfred? Man. One who's bold enough to take He's also a little younger. Alfred, but if that's the yeah, case, we could be Alfred needs to put down the cake. On the streets of yeah, he's a little heavier. He isn't a killer. He's a desperate kid who took the wrong job from the wrong people. It's as simple as that. Court will recess until the jury reaches a verdict. It's crazy the jury picks it. These civilians pick that if they want to. It's like a lottery system, and it's supposed to be a lottery. 
But you know you're gonna lose, right? I had that jury eating out of my hand. You know this kid's been set up to take the fall. Not my fault he wouldn't take a deal. It's all politics for you now. Every conviction, another ad for your campaign. Harvey Dent, tough on crime. Hey, I'm just doing my Harvey, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Here, hot off the presses. No, thanks. Give it to someone who might actually... For mayor? That looks like a anime series design right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just go around the pillar. It's kind of funny. I kind of want to see what he looks like as Bruce Wayne, because he definitely... Yeah, because Bruce Wayne and Batman are two different characters. Well, he definitely looks younger. Mm-hmm. I think this is supposed to be not Batman year one, but very early on. Year one is the Batman. Help me! Someone! Who's behind those explosions? Oh God! Who? What are you? Gargoyle, just like in Arkham Knight. Arkham. It was a penguin! It was a freaking penguin! His voice is so like chill and laid back. It was a penguin. <laughs> it was a freaking penguin. Iceberg Lounge. Even that font right there is very Batman anime yeah. series. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, Penguin's a woman in this. I didn't know that. Really? <laughs> yeah. She is? She was a woman in the comic at one point. But yeah. Hello. Oh, it isn't Detective Arnold Flask. Flask. Hey, me next! Do me next! Not if you were the last cop on the forest, Bullock. Bullock. We got Flask, we got Bullock. Yeah. I think I could be at home about now, doing my nails, or my taxes. It's not like I'm having fun here either, Barbara. Gordon. Jim Gordon. He sounds a lot like Batman. Doesn't bother you that half these people want to see you fail? Oh, come on, honey. I'm sure it's far more than half. Doesn't he sound like Kevin Conroy? You know my daughter? Know her? If I had my way, this little spitfire would be working for me in the DA's office. You know, Jim, once I'm elected mayor, maybe then you won't need outside help from giant bats. So you're buying into rumors off the streets now, So Harvey? they don't know about him yet? Do you leave cookies out for Santa, too? What'd I tell you, Jim? Spitfire. I've suspected the iceberg was some kind I'm talking about his daughter like that right in front of him. Or drugs or worse. But to take on Rupert Thorne... Yes, it would appear you've underestimated the penguin, sir. They yeah, have definitely a younger, younger Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he had the stain on his shirt. That's me. Yeah. So yummy. You have cocktail sauce on your shirt. Ah, nuts. <laughs> well, uh, I guess my shirt got a little hungry. Oh, good line. Is it? Smooth, Ronnie. Real smooth. And you wonder why Mama calls you the slow one. Oh, go climb your thumb, Half Pint. Do enjoy the party, Master Bruce. Oh, it's Bruce Wayne! Bruce, well, this is embarrassing. You started the party without me. You made it, Bruce! Say, Alan, be a pal and find a spot for these. <laughs> Bruce! Late as always. What was the problem this time? Harvey, the only problem is that you and I are at a party, and neither of us has a drink. Now he's doing the Bruce Wayne persona. I must say, I was devastated to hear another of your properties exploded the other night. Did I hear you had an office in that building? Heavens! If you'd been there, why, you would have been blown to pieces. Itty, bitty, pieces. <laughs> Actually, Oswald, uh, I, uh, Oswald, uh, I got a tip and I tailed it out of there just in time. A tip, you say? You might say a little birdie told me. A little birdie? No, not on the first date. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Guess I can't hold my liquor. Be right back. He knows. He missed too bad. Makes you think of the Lazarus Pit, but it's, I don't think it's going to be here on yeah, a yacht. That's, that's the first thing I thought of was the Lazarus Pit. But I just don't know if it'd be here on a yacht, you know? Yeah. Definitely not. No. Guess it's not a yacht party until someone falls overboard. Excuse me. Miss <laughs> Wayne, what happened to you? Guess it's not a yacht party until someone falls overboard. <laughs> <laughs> she turned around. That was funny. It was learning that one of my sweet, precious little angels sold me. Uh oh. Out. It was Aaron. It had to be him. What? Come on, Ronnie's the one who's always saying crap behind your back. Well, he kind of gave it away when he said tiny little bird. 
You found the rat, Mama. He, yeah, you said it was that Clarence guy. It wasn't me. I swear. It was he sounds like a rat, doesn't he? Yeah. Guilty, don't he, Mama? Remember to eat something at the party, Mama. Because I know you get a little testy sometimes when you're hungry. <laughs> I understand that. Mama, please don't. No mama never holds a grudge for long. Wait! Wait! I don't think they're gonna kill him only because with his son. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. I'm pretty sure that box is uh, not waterproof. Mr. Ford, Mama's on touch. She thought it was Aaron who took you off, but she's gonna figure out it's me. You gotta help me. I don't think you're the kind of man I want in my organization. You just sold out your own mother, for God's sake. Wait, wait. You, you promised. What am I gonna do? Not my problem, kid. Bye now. So it was him. Yep. That so he was leading her astray on purpose. Whatever it takes, find him. So guy just died for no reason. Well, I think. It they... also shows that the penguin isn't infallible here. It's already showing that the penguin here is not this mastermind, right? Mm-hmm. But the Joker wouldn't make that kind of mistake. What do you want? I need your help, sweet. I miss Gordon. She's gonna kill me. My mama. She runs a mob. She, 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 she's a scary lady. Please, you gotta help me. I'm busy. Mama just killed my brother right in front of brother. me. Yeah, how about you quit being a fucking prick and just help the guy out? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, especially if it's your job. Is, she's, right, she's it's a, your job. She's a lawyer. She's cooked. Please, customers. When's Batman gonna show up or what? You ain't gonna get away. They start it'd run out, start flanking you. Wait, you saying, did he just pump? Uh, he had a sh oh. oh. He had a shotgun. He had a shotgun. I was hoping that I was hoping to God he didn't just pump a Tommy gun. No, the other two had Tommies. He had a shotgun. All right. That means go, leave, run. I'm starting to think that they're not the brightest duo. Well, think how dumb they are in Batman the Animated Series, too. Yeah. You know? Now, hold on, son. We can protect you. No, that was before, but now my mom is after me. She knows. She's got cops on her payroll. What's going on, Flash? You need to make a call. Thank you, Detective. Oh, here, Bullock is going to be dirty, huh? Uh-oh. The little fink is spilling it to Gordon right now. Let me have one of the insiders take care of it. No. It's too late for quiet. You don't know what she can do. Mama bought herself a customized military grade long range cannon. With that thing, she can hit any place in Gotham she wants. Do you get it now? I'll let the Coast Guard bring in the. Yeah, I'm sure you could just order one of those off of Palmetto State Armory. The 50s, baby. You do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> He's everywhere. Oh, yeah. Done a little better job with oh. the, the bat symbol on the yeah, Why would he be a skeleton suit? already? Let's say it's just the fact that they throw people in there all the time. That's all those bosses were. Okay, boys, let's load it up. Well, I'll be damned, Virginia. There really is a Batman. He said there's 127 forms of combat, but he's not a veteran here, so he... Yeah, he's not a veteran yet. So he doesn't know, you know. Oh. Oh, okay, get a little umbrella with it, a little knife sticking out. I like that move. Oh, for real? Oh, man. I like how the police department's the same as yeah, Batman the Animated yeah. Series. Mm -hmm. Wonder where that is. That missile going for the police? Yes, it is. Oh, shit. Boom. Oh, so Batman wasn't completely successful here. We got lucky. But we moved fast too. Made some of that luck on our own. Yeah, I guess so. That Batman guy is real, by the way. I met him tonight. <laughs> sort of. He has a really nice car. <laughs> Wayne, Wayne Manor. Wayne Manor. I've been piecing together the full extent of Penguin's empire. Former empire, you mean? And that's the problem. Penguin was keeping Thorn's mob in check. By taking down her operation in one fell swoop. You've just given another piece of the city to Rupert Thorne. I failed tonight. That can't happen again. 
Rare. Guys, that was a reaction. Now we're gonna break it down, see what we thought. Overall, I liked it, mm -hmm. I have to say. I like the tone, I like the dialogue. Um, it's definitely reminds me of Batman, the animated series. Yeah, it definitely it, had... Yeah, it reminds me of it without being... It's definitely not a carbon copy. There's right. a lot of things that are different. What do you think, bud? Honestly... You, you, I, you haven't bought in yet. I like the Batman stuff. I like the fact that it's Batman. I did not like Penguin. Yeah, so... I did so, not like his outfit. I did not like... Penguin's uh, outfit or Batman's outfit? Batman's outfit. Oh, okay. I did not like... Uh, Barbara. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a little uh, hard to get along with. Yeah, I think and, that's just part, you know. She, and, she, she's like that. Um, and uh, Alfred, he, I wasn't a big fan of Alfred. Okay, so let's break all those down. Okay. Batman suit, I've seen him without the yellow. I mean, well, that, I didn't really like, the, the yellow doesn't bother me. It could be all black with a little bit of raised emblem or it could be just a gray on black. Mm -hmm. But it looked like they just didn't try very hard on it. They just kind of just squ squiggled a, some use on upside down use on there and i have to see it again because uh, when he was in the submarine well when you and malachi were talking i saw you have some kind of like i, was, I wish they would have yeah i was like what the f they just looked, it looked like they just just like real cheaply done so i have to watch again maybe that scene like sometimes we're watching any cartoon and one particular scene might not be drawn as well so when I Batman when he was fighting and when it showed him the first time, I thought he looked good. I, I will say not having the yellow when it's a cartoon was a little different to me. But it kind of makes sense if it's realistic. Why would you put a yellow fucking thing target on your chest? You know, right? That's be like a bullseye. <clears throat> yeah. Um, concerning the Batman, I didn't have a problem with this look except the gloves. Yeah, the gloves were now. Awful. Also, I will say the gloves only stood out to me the first time we saw that punch. Yeah, whenever she ran into his fist. Yeah, they stood out to me then. I was like, whoa. But then after that, they didn't stand out to me in a way where I was like, it's a deal breaker. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can warm up to all the Batman stuff. Um, now, Penguin. So, Oswalda Cobblepot. I'm pretty sure there is a female interpretation of character at some point in the comics. I could be wrong. Like, I, I think when you have changed an established character, like, and, and let's be clear, I think ch changing an established character from a woman to a man or a man to a woman, you got to have... It's got to be a really great performance. It's got to, right. you know what I mean? It, it, there's got to be these things about the character that make it better. Mm -hmm. So m my thing is, is why not create a new villain? You know what I mean? Yeah, if you, if, yeah, like, or like bring, use the, uh, the cat in the claw, that badass uh, female that they used uh, for that. Yeah, the Russian. Yeah, the Russian lady. She was sweet. Yeah, so, I, yeah, I, uh, but I, I'll say this, like, I didn't have a problem with everything that, Everything Oswalda did and was saying, like, she's buying off the cops. She acts like she, she's like Gus from um, Breaking Bad. She acts like she's this philanthropist. She throws all these fundraisers for cops. But, but she's also has a mob. She's also a mob leader, pays off the cops, and she's ruthless. Like, all Man. that stuff was good. And, I mean, I'll say this. Like, Cobblepot has this, like, performance to the voice where he, sound, he sounds kind Man. of campy, mm -hmm. like cheesy in a way. You know what I mean? Like I, I know he's I know in um the nineteen eighty nine Batman, like he, he's there's like this cheesiness to him that's like, man, he's weird. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I didn't feel like Oswaldo was like this weird I thought she was kinda too charismatic and you know what I mean, I don't know. I, I know in Batman, like I know Cobblepot threw parties and did things, but do you remember when Cobblepot in our Batman the animated series reactions, like he was shown a party and he that girl. Oh, the when he when he when he finally fell in love and he was. Trying that girl to do was some pretending good. to be into him. Yeah, he was trying to do some good, and then all of a sudden, her and her, her, and her brother just screwed him over. And yeah, so I, to me, my interpretation of the character is I feel like Cobblepot is not. He's not one of the cool villains. Mm -hmm. And I thought, and I'm not saying Oswaldo was like really cool, but I felt like she didn't have that loser type of feeling because yeah, she she she, she was, was a, a little too cool compared to how i felt cobblepot is yeah because penguin genuine normally is just short humped just a short humpty dumpty loser yeah and then also i don't know if you've ever watched <coughs> gotham but penguin and gotham he's just a yeah he's oh, yeah. just a goofball With a kid? yeah he's just a goober I'd say, i like the episode and i liked her in it but when i think about oswalda oh that is penguin to me there's this discombobulation mentally where I feel like, oh, it's this is like this weird interpretation where it's not that Penguin is a woman now. It's also Penguin feels fundamentally different. 
Yeah, you know I mean, mm -hmm. if you're going to do fundamentally different, then just do a different character. Right. But it's also like if you do the exact same thing and make it a woman, then you're going to be comparing this cobble pot to all the male cobble pots. It's kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, because at least though, at least she was like taller. She was built. Yeah. I feel like she'd be yeah a might be a better villain than yeah, the original like, penguin because he just fat and can barely wipe his ass. Yeah, but that that's the thing, is like there was this charm to it. And I know they're trying to go for this gritty, more realistic feel. I mean let's talk about the things we liked about Oswald in this. Like I, I like the dialogue, I like the ruthlessness. And we did see some incompetence. Mm -hmm. Malcolm, you remember talking about the incompetence? Yeah. She thought it was her other son. Yeah, she was easily fooled. Yeah, killed the wrong boy because he's because the uh, one dude was itty bitty tiny, so she just assumed it was her small little. Yeah, and and the other brother munchkin. set it up that way as well. Mm -hmm. right. So it, it, she's not a mastermind. Mm -hmm. So she is consistent in that way. I I, I didn't hate it. Uh, it just was weird, and I I liked it, but it was weird. It mm -hmm. just threw me off in the it, beginning. It threw me off, Matt. You also, how do you feel about Barbara? You said she, you know you didn't have you know you didn't really like the the way she's portrayed so far. No, she's uh with a lot of the males in the show. She's just kind of rude. Yeah, I thought she was a little rude. Disrespectful, short. Yeah, so I guess I would interpret that as maybe in this world it was really hard for her to get to her position. Dominated in a world where probably uh, it's primarily males, and she yeah. probably gets hit on all the time. And plus, it's back in the fifty or back it was it back in the fifties? So yeah, forties or fifties. Yeah. Things are a little different back then. Yeah, so I felt that too, but I, I will say that I mean, think about how um. We had interpretations of the character where, you know, she's been short. Like, she, she has to be a certain way if she's a lawyer. Well, she's a lawyer in this, right? She's not a cop yet. She's a defense attorney. Okay, she's a defense attorney? Okay, so, yeah, I was feeling that she was a defense attorney as well. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know. But, um, I mean, I'm open to that character growing. I think she, you know, I think eventually... I think it's going to be one of those where she's, like, kind of mean and nasty at first, but then things happen and they make her open her up a, a little bit. And... Yeah. You start seeing another another side of her. We also had Harvey Dent in this. And I thought I was fine with the character. I mean, him and Bruce, they look obviously younger. They felt younger. Mm -hmm. But Harvey, to me, just felt very consistent. And I don't want to say that's good or bad. It just felt, I mean, I, I don't want. I, I don't always want the exact same thing repeated over and over again. Right. I want to be surprised by the show in a good way. Um, I know I'm, it's a lot of demands. Like, I don't want you to change anything, but I also want to be surprised, you know? Uh, Harvey felt just like Harvey to me, for, for better or worse. Yeah, Harvey felt like um, yeah. We, we also named drop Flask. Flask is a character that he's been in all these different interpretations. Uh, Bullock, uh, yeah. he's in the Batman the Anime series. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's in anything. I don't know if he's in anything else. It's been alluded that um, in the in the beginning of Batman the Animated Series that Bullock was a dirty cop, but in this he was absolutely a dirty cop. Yeah. Yeah, the Batman the Animated Series, everyone wanted him to be the dirty cop and everyone hated him. But he always but he always had a good side to him in Batman. Yeah, he, he showed series. a few times that hey, he wants to do the right thing. He, he's more of like an imbecile than yeah, he is. He's, yeah, in Batman the Animated Series is more just an idiot. Yeah, he's an idiot and he'll do dirty things to get the job done, but he won't side with the bad guy right malachi so you haven't spoken a lot my son if you guys are watching this for the first time what'd you think uh i liked it yeah i agreed with the uh, penguin being a girl thing the penguin empire is taken down now i am surprised she got that shot off actually the show subverted me in a way where oh i thought batman was gonna stop her no uh, it shows that he's still young yeah he's still young yeah makes mistakes yeah. I also like showing his youth. That guy he fought put up a fight. Now, the guy didn't really get a good hit on him, but Batman didn't just completely dominate him. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so, and I'm, I'm fine seeing that sometimes, especially if this is a younger version of the character. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so now that Penguin has been taken down, um, Rupert Thorne, he, I, I think he's going to fill that power vacuum. So, Oswald uh, Cobblepot kept... Uh, Thorn's mob in check. So now Thorn is presumably maybe a worse mob leader. So now we got to worry about him. Or until someone bigger and badder comes along. Yeah, until someone bigger and badder comes along. Uh, anyways, uh, like I said, I liked most things about it. I definitely liked the way it looked. Um, and I, I think it's... I didn't like the Penguin part in Arkham Knight, but, you know, besides that... I haven't, I haven't beat Arkham Knight since 2014, but... Well, there's a penguin part where you got to go to his place and you got to get to save someone. But you got to go through his whole thing. You got to go on these little ice, the, the ice things. 
Okay. You had to travel, and there's like sharks in the water. Oh, okay. And you got to get to these different places and do different things. And I was stuck on one thing for like yeah. three days. I will say this. Um, if you're going to change a character that dramatically, I, I, I'd rather be Penguin than like the Joker or like Mr. Freeze or something like that. Like... Or Two Face, or Two or Two Face for or, sure, or yeah. Bane, or... yeah, or Bane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Cobblepot would be the probably the safe the good, yeah. good version of Bane. Like Cobblepot, the Riddler, any of those would be. Riddler's a good guy. Uh, I like Batman. Riddler, but you could do a spin on the Riddler that I think I'd be open to. I'd be open to that. I wouldn't yeah. be open to the Joker. No, no, yeah, no Joker, no Bane. Yeah, uh, Joker for number it'd one. It'd be so Joker weird if they my... made Bane like they changed her, <laughs> changed him to a girl. That'd be so weird. Because his, the identity of that character is hyper violent masculinity. You right. know what I mean, and that needs to be intact. Joker's so I'm open for like creating new characters. Like I'm very open to that. I think they should. Mm -hmm. um, I don't hate Pobblepot. I don't think any of us hate it. But it was just it was weird. Even though it was performed well. Um, yeah, I just thought she needed to sound a little more bumbling. She needed mm -hmm. to sound a little more like a fool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. that's what Cobblepot kind of was. You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, I think that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, good show, guys. We're gonna have the next episode up on early access as soon as possible, and we're gonna have full length up um, for everything that we do. See you guys next time.